This short video is going to explain how to install the SCUSA mandated timing plate. This is also a good time to inspect your easy clip, your sprocket, your clutch lever arm, your J arm for wear, tear, damage, or possible breakage. Tools you will need for this project. If you're using a Swede Tech flywheel cover, you're going to need a 4 millimeter Allen. If you do not have a Swede Tech cover, then on the inside you will need a 10 millimeter socket, a number two size Phillips wrench, or a flat blade screwdriver. And you're going to need to remove the cover first. And this is much easier performed off the cart. But if you decide to do it on the cart and it's easier to remove your seat, you can do that. And if you happen to remove the engine from the chassis, it's also a good time to check the chassis for any breaks, cracks, wear and tear, and also a good time to clean. So you will notice there's two 10 millimeter bolts. You could leave the right side bolt alone, but you will need to loosen and completely remove the left side bolt. And that bolt requires a 10 millimeter socket. Be careful for the wires going into the ignition area. You don't want to damage the wires pulling the bolt out or reinstalling the bolt. This is also a good time to inspect the flywheel for rubbing, polishing, wear and tear, and also inspect these wires here. We have seen a number of ignitions where the seat has ground through the wire. And that was one of the big reasons we came up with our flywheel cover, is to protect the flywheel and to protect the wires on the pickup. Grab your Phillips. Again, it's a number two. You're going to remove the stock timing plate. Your engine may or may not have this stock timing plate. If it does not have the stock timing plate, if you do not loosen this right side bolt, it will not affect your ignition timing. The SCUSA mandated plate is anodized blue. It's aluminum. There's a total of three different holes and it also has a SCUSA engraving on it. The easiest way to install this plate is to put the bolt through the plate and install the plate on the stator. Again, be careful for the wires. You don't want to pinch, damage, or cut the wires. As you tighten the bolt, you want to make sure you're not trying to tap or force the bolt through the aluminum plate. Any markings on the plate is going to raise question in tech and you do not want to give them the impression that you are filing down the SCUSA plate. Make sure every, everything is aligned properly. Lightly snug the 10 millimeter bolt and then reinstall the screw that you pulled out earlier. It's easier if you use a little magnetic uh, head on the screwdriver. It'll make things a lot easier. and you're going to snug the bolt to approximately 7 to 9 foot-pounds. This is a good time to check the wires on the pickup. Check your ignition pickup gap. Make sure your ignition flywheel, make sure the tab here is not rounded off, everything is in good condition. And it's also a good time to check your clutch lever lifter arm for wear. And while you're at that, look at the tab hanging off the right side of the stator plate. These do have a tendency to crack and break. And if that happens, then you can buy a Swede Tech flywheel cover, and we have a built-in clutch armor stay.
And the final step after everything is nice and tight, reinstall your flywheel cover. And you are good to go. The torque spec on these bolts is going to be 7 to 9 foot pounds. And that is going to use a 4 millimeter Allen if you're using the Sweet Tech cover. Thanks for tuning in and check out the other videos we have posted.